In today's Madden 21 free scheme of the week, I am going to be breaking down our man-beating formation out of the Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I'm going to welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the uh, part two of our free five sets for success offensive scheme for the Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook. And part two basically consists of man beater right we want to have a formation that can beat man to man coverage now for those of you that are brand new to the channel i want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video my channel is designed to help people get better at bad in 21 and so i post four videos a day on youtube that are designed to help i have tips strategies uh tactics and also we have uh full schemes and this is one of those you're going to see what we're going to be able to do here but for the multiple ravens playbook we're going to be focusing in on the gun bunch formation the audibles you're going to want to have are ravens trail ravens curl Clear out, SE out, and then I like Raven's Hook personally. Um, and again, for those of you guys that are watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, I do want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Clicking that subscribe button is going to help uh, you out a lot, I think, in Madden 21 because you're going to be able to get access to all four of those videos. And be sure to turn on notifications so that you can know when we go live. All right, Shotgun Bunch. So we're going to start uh, with Raven's Trail. Raven's Trail is my favorite man beater um, from this formation. And basically what I'm going to show you, and we're just going to run this against standard cover two man, but Christian Kirk's route, when it cuts to the inside, is going to destroy man. As you see right there, it's going to, if I can make a user catch, you want to click onto your receiver and make the catch, but his route will, will um, be very effective against man to man. And when I say man to man, I'm talking about the meta man defense so i'm going to be shading coverage outside and over top i think that's the best way to play man this year as you see there's an inside pass lead and you're going to be able to possess and catch it now one of the things that i have experimented with a little bit with christian kirk is motioning him out to the right so if you just do a little quick motion to the right what you're going to see is he's still going to snap in but what it's going to do for your offense is it's going to get you a little bit better spacing as you saw right there that if we don't get him outside then that safe that guy that's covering the trail route can now cover both the trail and the inside post what we want them to do is kind of work in combination with one another so as you see right there we get him out there pretty significantly out there get him to stutter his feet and then what you're going to have is you're going to have the trail route. Um, and one of the things you want to make sure you don't do is don't throw the trail route if there's a quarterback spy over the middle of the field. Most of the time with this, there won't be. One thing I will recommend that you do is to go ahead and zig Larry Fitzgerald, put Drake on a little flat route, just like this right here. And you're going to see you're going to be able to beat man-to-man, -man for the most part, over the middle of the field. One of the things that I think is really important with this specific route combination is to be clicking onto your receivers and making the catches for them. As you see there, Christian Kirk able to get open against man-to-man. -man. What I like about this route to the left side, DeAndre Hopkins, if you have a stud receiver like a DeAndre Hopkins, what you're going to see is this route is when it's going to cut to the left, it's going to be able, you're going to be able to click on and possession catch it. Now, what happens, and this is Stephon Gilmore. This is one step ahead, Stephon Gilmore. It's the best man coverage corner in the, in the game. So what I want to show you here, when they shade coverage outside and over top, if you low ball this, you can actually come back to the ball. You can click onto the receiver and kind of shield the corner on the outside because he's not playing underneath principles. He's playing over top principles. Well, that decision to do that, low ball, pass lead down, click on, and you're going to be able to get that catch with DeAndre Hopkins very, very consistently. You'll see here. Um, if they do press, then it's just a straight out route and you're going to be able to get the ball out there. So throwing it at different points is going to help significantly with this uh, play. This zig route to Fitzgerald, uh, if he, most of the time this is not going to be, as you see there, it's not going to be the best man-to-man -man coverage. If you have an advantage, like if you have a route running advantage, then yes it will. One of the things that I like to do is put him on uh, either a zig or a hitch. And the reason I like a hitch better than a zig is because if they're shading coverage over top, I can just low ball that hitch very, very consistently um, if they're shading coverage over top, which, you know, they may not always be doing that, but I'm just telling you from my experience, I find that most people at the highest levels are going to be consistently shading coverage over top and outside, which is going to open up a lot of windows. As you see here, it's going to look like Stefan Gilmore is going to pick this up, but a low ball to the outside, um, you're going to be able to fit this in. Literally low ball, hard left pass lead, down and away, click on, and you see there it's DeAndre Hopkins. You're able to get open against man-to-man. -man. Now, if it's not Stefan Gilmore, 
Let me just flip the play. And let me show you this route if it weren't uh, if it weren't Stefan Gilmore. Let's just say it was Christian Kirk. Well, you're going to see that if he doesn't have one step ahead, this is going to... Um, this is going to be fairly consistent. I think I threw it a little bit early there. We'll show it to you one more time. This is going to be fairly consistent against man-to-man -man coverage. Let me flip the play here. So you'll see here, so you get that release, click on, and you're going to be able to hit that and out route against man-to-man. -man. So you're going to be fairly consistent with that route. Just learn. You want to practice that route pretty consistently before you throw it. And then against man-to-man uh, -man coverage also, these trail routes this year are pretty good. Um, you're seeing that because the Patriots are at such an advantage and, and mutt and you use a good tight end there, you're going to be fine. Um, with, with the way the Patriots are so good at man-to-man, -man, you'll see, you, you know, you do need to kind of, you know, get him through there. But if you click on, you should be able to swerve him underneath and inside. One of the challenges, uh, you just want to put your fastest receiver, your fastest tight end there. Uh, one of the things that I've seen um, over the course of the last couple of weeks in Madden is it's really difficult to... Um, to beat man-to-man -man coverage if you don't have good personnel um and for whatever reason he's catching on that so let's throw let's throw that right on a hitch or on a zig i'm sorry so we'll throw fitzgerald on a hitch or a zig and now they're gonna move and you see right there you can, can kind of fit that in might not be dime 146 best against that right there Huh. Weird. This play normally works against man. <laughs> or that route specifically, I mean. Right there. And you see, there you go. So that route does work against man. It's not the most consistent. The other routes on the play are going to be a little bit more consistent for you. All right. So that's Raven's Curl. Clear out SE out. That's for people that are not... Um, that's for people that are not shading coverage over top. You're going to see that if they're not shading coverage over top and they don't have good receivers, you have a stud receiver, or they don't have good corners, what you're going to find, even if they do have good corners, is that press coverage, they're going to miss that press. You can throw that, and we talked about that in our last scheme of the week from Atlanta. You can throw that ball. Um, you, want to motion, uh, you want to motion Christian Kirk out pretty significantly, about right here. You're going to see they're going to miss that press. Ah. Say motion him out about two or three steps. Show you right here. Right in there. See there he tries to press him. Can't press him. And you're gonna fit that in over the top most of the time. Now again, it's probably honestly, you know, I don't necessarily think a lob was gonna be the best move. What you want to do with this is just literally it's a it's a quick over the shoulder thing. And, and part of the challenge is, you know, the secondary for new England is unreal. But if you, if you have, if you have Fitzgerald, I'd throw him on a streak and then maybe just take the running back and put him on an option route. That's going to help out a little bit. Cause it's going to hold that safety on that right side. And then you can get that pass lead up over the top on the right side. Most of the time people aren't going to have the safeties over top either. Uh, I find that most of the time people in cover two that are going to run it consistently are not going to have the safeties over top, but you really need to get this out like quick. It's, it's a quick read. Um, and I, I'm not, I'm not even getting it out quick enough here. That's why I'm throwing incompletes, but literally right there, right when you see a miss, that's when you throw it. Cause you got the one step click on. And for whatever reason, Madden is not being my friend right now. It's literally is very consistent. Let's see here. And also, most of the time, you know, people are going to be pressing coverage. I don't know why that safety is getting out there on that. That's crazy. Let's get him out there just a little bit more. Hmm. Well... All right, if they run cover two, man, um, what you're going to do within this curl out is, yeah, this play does work. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know why it's not working right now. But this route on the left side, 
is going to be able to beat man to man. And once he beats the press, like you have a good receiver like a DeAndre Hopkins. Once DeAndre Hopkins beats the press on this left side, just throw it far left. Ah. Throw it far left. I don't know why we're, I don't know why we're missing this. I've thrown this right a million times, but you'll see this this play. And maybe maybe it got patched. I don't know, but uh, this little route on the left side. There you go, right in there, and you see it's a one play touchdown against cover two man. So one of the things you have to do, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you this, uh, you have to click onto the receiver, and you have to kind of swerve him. Uh, to the inside and outside as soon as you throw the ball to get the corner to glitch out. So, you know, sometimes Stephon Gilmore is going to get there. But, and if Stephon Gilmore wins the press animation, you know, you're kind of jacked. But part of your challenge is, part of your challenge is going to be, there's the press, click on, and, and get it out there. Um, I have not seen a lot of people leave the safeties, honestly. Uh, I throw a lot of one-play touchdowns with this play. Right in there, right in the right in the bucket. But he's going to get the overtop. He's going to get the overtop animation that you want. And like I said, most of the time, um, most of the time DeAndre Hopkins is going to be wide open. It's, it's, the only reason that Stephon Gilmore is, is actually playing that route is is because he's Stephon Gilmore. So if someone has one step ahead, you know, but Murray's not getting the ball out to the right enough. Let me show you one other. Let me try one other thing with this route um, on the right side. Let me try just bulleting. Yeah, right there. And you see, if you do the slight swerve, um, if you bullet it and you do the slight, the slight swerve right as soon as you throw it, um, he will get that over the shoulder basket animation right there you see that right there and you're gonna kill cover two man for one play score on both sides of the ball now what i want to caution you with with this is if they're shading coverage outside and over top right if they're doing that what you're going to find is these routes are not going to be at the same level okay so from there that's where again i like to put i like to put larry fitzgerald on a hitch route just in case Right, just in case, you know, but if, just in case, if they're not shading coverage over top, though, you're gonna once you get that little animation right there, you little do a little slight swerve, and you're gonna get the glitchy uh, streak animation that we want to get. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's clear out SE out Ravens Trail. Now let's talk about Ravens Curl. Ravens Curl is pretty solid. I really like this play, especially for the shade coverage shade over top. Um, this route to DeAndre Hopkins, you want to run it like a post route. Literally, as soon as he cuts to the inside, you're going to throw it. You're going to click on, and you're going to be successful with this. The only thing I want to recommend to you out of the gate here is when you're running, um, when you are running this play, take your running back and put him on a um, a uh, a flat route of some type because if they're running zone coverage you're going to be able to still throw this because he's going to pull the zones out, as you can see right there. Very, very effective. Very, very effective. It's a post-corner route, two win three-window route, really. Um, but, you know, very, very, very effective. Right there, and then you can come out right there. Click on. And you see how you're able to do it against zone as well. But very, very good against man-to-man. -man. Um, but for zone purposes, I like to just put... Could you Drake on a little, little route? AC, even against press man, you're gonna win. Um, press man, because of because of Fitzgerald's route, you know, I wouldn't probably throw that. But against press man, you're still gonna you're still gonna win pretty consistently with this. And then that route to Fitzgerald, click on. You're just gonna click on, swerve, catch it down. And you're going to be able to make uh, the catch right there fairly consistently. Uh, again, Ravens curl and come across. And that's because we didn't put the running back on a flat. You see that he's going to lurk the middle of the field if you don't put the running back on a flat. What I really like about this play that I want to talk about, though, is this curl flat route to Christian Kirk. Just lowball this to the inside, and it's going to kill man coverage. 
it's going to kill man coverage. You're going to work the ball up the field with this. It's going to kill man. It's going to kill zone. I mean, if they if they run zone on you, this thing is going to kill it too. Um, literally, you could high point these curls, click on, and you can aggressive catch it. Most of the time, you'll come down with that if you have a solid receiver. So very, very good stuff from this Ravens curl play. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite passing plays in this playbook um, just because of this route and how good this route is. What you can do with Christian Kirk um, as well is you can motion this out and have the same motion as Ravens trail. And what you'll see is this is going to be very effective. It's just a motion out. That's cover two man, not shaded over top. Now, what happens is when they shade it over top, you're going to find, because it's an inside curl route, right? It's, it's, it's not an outside curl route, really. It's more of an inside base curl route. It's going to not only beat uh, this, but it's also going to beat when they throw the purples out there Right, if your if your opponent is throwing purples out there on the man coverage, you're gonna find this play right here because he's got that flat route to pull all the zones away. That flat route's gonna pull the zones. You're gonna be able to hit that curl route very consistently. So I love this play. This is one of my favorite plays in the game. Um, you've got the nice uh, double move on the left side, and then you've got this nice curl route over here. You know, there's just a lot in one play. And when Hopkins does come out, sometimes you can actually get that animation as well. But I personally think it works best when you go throw it throw it right at the break. All right, so that's that. And then Raven's Hook. Raven's Hook, now the curl comes from Fitzgerald. Um, this route to Kirk, you're going to motion him out, and you'll see here he's going to cross and typically will beat man to the inside because of his speed. Okay, so he's going to typically beat man to man from the inside. Uh, one of the things, this is more of a constraint theory play, but what I like to do here is take the tight end, put him on a, a streak, just a quick streak right up the seams. This is not so much for man-to-man. -man. It it, it's more for zone, more for cover, too, specifically for what you're going to get. But at the same time, you know, the, the curl route to Fitzgerald is going to beat man-to-man. -man. You're going to see low ball, passly down on the inside. You're going to beat man-to-man that way. You also have that stock fade on the left side to um, DeAndre Hopkins. And what you'll see here is if he beats that man-to-man, -man, you can click on and you can get some swerve catches going. And you can absolutely destroy man-to-man -man that way. So... It's a really good little formation. I think it's a very unique gun bunch. Uh, I don't know a lot of gun bunches that are really like this one. Um, this route to Williams is is okay. Um, if you have a better tight end, you have like a Jermichael Finley and Mutt, or you know, if you have like a Gronkowski, you know, any of those guys with a build, Travis Kelsey, any of those guys, that route will work a thousand times better but this trail route right here is really good that post route a very good animation against man-to-man -man coverage you're going to be able to work the ball up and down the field against man one of the things you can also mess around with is taking fitzgerald and just putting him on a stock slant on this ravens trail and you'll see that he's going to torch man-to-man -to -man, as you see right there um able to get the ball out so if they're running straight man i would maybe run a little bit more of the the slant routes um slant flat combinations and things like that but guys for those of you guys that uh, have not already, I do want to let you know we do have a channel Discord. Uh, Discord is basically a communication platform. It's a place where we talk Madden 21 all day long. Literally, I get messages all day. Uh, it's awesome. We talk different ideas, different strategies, different concepts. So if you haven't already, make sure to join the Discord. You can do that by clicking the link in the description of this video. And guys, we will see you tonight on our live stream. Make sure you are subscribed and make sure you have the notifications on because we're going to be going live at 10 o'clock p.m tonight and you don't want to miss it i'll be throw a link to that in our discord as well and if you have a madden question for tonight's live stream you can just text me my number is 812-216-3644 see you guys tonight